Butterfield Bank is the 2020 Best Bank winner in Bermuda. It saw earnings decline to $177 million in 2019 from $195 million a year earlier, but it made significant moves to bolster its competitive position. The bank acquired the ABN AMRO Channel Islands banking business, which significantly increased its presence in Guernsey. The purchase also complemented Butterfield's well-established franchises in Bermuda and Cayman, and it opened a new banking center in Grand Cayman. In response to financial travails caused by the COVID-19 crisis, Butterfield announced a customer release initiative automatically deferring all residential mortgage and personal loan payments for three months to help customers through stressful times. During temporary government mandated closures in Butterfield's home markets, the bank was still able to provide essential banking services to its customers, both in person and electronically. Despite the continuing challenges of COVID-19, Butterfield recorded solid earnings of $34 million in the second quarter of 2020, although net income decreased compared to the prior quarter. ROE was 14% in the second quarter. Here is Butterfield Bank's Managing Director of Bermuda and International Wealth, Michael Neff. Hello, I'm Michael Neff, Managing Director of Bermuda and International Wealth here at the Bank of Butterfield. On behalf of myself and all my colleagues, we would like to thank the publishers, the Global Finance Magazine for naming us Best Bank in Bermuda 2020. Uh, this is a particularly important uh, award for us, and the fact that we've now won it six years in a row makes it, uh, we think, even that more distinguished. Uh, and that's all driven from the very personal approach that we take uh, with our clients. So our staff works very hard to understand what the needs of our clients are, and we work to deliver bespoke solutions that, that meet their financial needs uh, and give them a strong foundation, whether that's on the personal side or the corporate side. Uh, and uh, 2020 uh, really uh, was, has been a, a challenging year for us uh, with the COVID pandemic uh, around the world here in Bermuda. Um, so, <clears throat> to, to help the community through it, we took a number of steps. Um, we deferred mortgage payments for six months. We also made adjustments in other products and services, and that put uh, tens of millions of dollars back into the Bermudian economy at a, at a difficult time. Uh, we also launched a, a meal service for those in need, delivering as many as 500 meals a day to our <clears throat> folks in the community. Um, it's all part of really a 160 year heritage of caring for our island clients. Uh, in our jurisdictions, we operate in 10 different uh, territories, jurisdictions. Um, that island heritage is really important to us uh, and will always be in our DNA. And uh, we take it very seriously, our commitment to it. Uh, equally, we take a serious commitment to the compliance standards that are necessary to operate in these offshore jurisdictions. So we have invested a great deal in making sure that we adhere to the highest standards. And so when you, you take together what we do for our clients and how <clears throat> tightly we run the organization, um, we think we certainly are deserving of the award and, and we look forward to trying to win it again in 2021. Uh, so I'd certainly like to thank uh, Global Finance for the recognition. Uh, I'd like to thank our clients uh, who inspire us to keep improving every day. And last, but perhaps most importantly, our staff who make it all very much possible. Uh, so thank you very much.